Hello guys, welcome in the next part in tutorial series how to make a floppy bird game and I need to warn you, I may have gone a little bit overboard at this episode um, part. I am not really sure what happened here, but you can see it for yourself. First thing we need to do is to create separate materials for all both of these assets. So let's click on tube and create material right here. New one and let's call it tube. UVs are done from previous episode, so let's delete this one because I have no idea what it is and create new one and call it bird-like creature. I should really do something, something with this name. <laughs> okay, now we can actually select both of it and export it. And because I am lazy, I'm just going to call it untitled. Wonderful, now let's switch on Substance Painter, okay, no, no, and file, new project, and load our untitled. Okay, great, now on the right here, you can switch between those materials, and because you will be easier, I will start with that. But before all that, you need to, well, I would definitely recommend you to click here on texture set setting and bake mesh maps. Set output size to 2K and use low poly mesh as high poly mesh. If you have created your own high poly mesh, which we didn't, uh, you can load it here. Let's bake it. See you soon. Okay, it has been baked and it already looks much better, but that's cool. We haven't even stopped it. Let's hide our creature and look at our materials. We will stay with what Mario taught us to do and apply simply some metal. That one. Let's go with blue can metal, how it will look like. Doesn't look bad at all, so let's go to layers and look what we have here. Okay, we will probably edit our base, yes. And set color base right here in fill. Set it to, oh, it's here. I will move it right there because that's how I am used to have it. But you can do whatever you want. And let's go with green. Oh, yes. Can you feel that Mario stuff? Okay, I'm pretty much satisfied with base mesh. What about metal? Let's, you know, let, let's have it a bit weird. Let's say that it was much more whiter underneath it. And much more roughy. Roughnessy? <laughs> I have no idea how to say it. Alright, and now if I want to edit how much how much metalness is has been actually created by this. Jesus, my speaking patterns are getting worse and worse. I can do it right here in editing of this black mask. Jeez, that was terrible. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's make sure that you don't make it too recognizable because remember in this game you will have a lot of uh, cubes next to each other. So it would, it would look really stupid if it had the uh, same scratch or same flag on the uh, same spots. Okay, let's do something with this roughness. I would actually delete it. And then, let's, I believe we can leave it like that. And to make it a little bit more interesting, let's add here uh, rust. It probably doesn't make physically sense to have that rust, but it looks cool, so who cares, right? Add here black mask and generator. Under generator, let's use garbage. Definitely not. That would work if we have taken some time and actually de do proper UV map, which we didn't bother ourselves with. So that looks pretty good, what do you think? Well, maybe that's too much, so let's go like this. Okay. I'm pretty satisfied with it and I have just decided that we will edit this green and make it much darker yeah and not so metallic okay 
that's pretty good i'm satisfied i would even say that i'm happy so let's delete this and do something with this dear bird you know what i have just got a really wonderful idea we will make it zebra like let's put here just a zebra oh yes it actually looks pretty good <laughs> like i know it's crazy but it looks really cool uh, um, i feel kind of happy with that all right here in advanced parameters we can edit those settings it even matches even though we have pretty much didn't do anything with our uvs i'm surprised and very happy <laughs> okay let's make it um reddish yes oh my god that's so satisfying um there is a problem we can do this uh, uh, you can't have something which is totally black which which has zero colors coordinates because something like that isn't simply possible in our world in uh, in nature there is nothing that has pure black color because it would mean that it's uh, actually consuming all the light that's coming to it. That's impossible. It can't. Ha it can't happen. But we still have can have it like that. And let's add scaling a little bit. Let's go with one point three. Okay, <laughs> that looks good. And add here black mask. And da da da. Set it only to wings. Because we have the whole body, we will do the same. But what we will... Oh, you need to add a new black mask, because we want to have coordinates of this. And the only thing we will do is to rotate it so it looks a little bit more... Yeah, like that. That's pretty good. And I would actually even prefer to edit those colors a little bit. Let's make it whiter. Jesus Christ, what have I just created? My God! <laughs> okay, uh, let's add here some details. You know what? If we are in this crazy as hell, whatever we are just doing, let's add here some. Let's add. Oh, come on, not the fill layer. I want to create new normal layer, which is this one. And let's add here metal matches because I have just decided that this is actually metal bird. Why not, right? <laughs> and that metal will be like this. Okay, for that we will use symmetry, which seems to be just fine. We don't need to edit it. And put here metal. <laughs> oh my freaking god. <laughs> What have I done? This is so ridiculous, but I'm actually happy. <laughs> That's what it what matters, right? You gotta have make yourself happy. I'm not sure if I was would put it into a real game, but let's have fun. Okay, okay, okay. And one last thing, let's add here eyes. And we will do it as bolts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I, I honestly like it. I'm not gonna lie, I really like that one. <laughs> okay, and something with that bird. Let's put it... What will we do? What will we do? What will we do? do, do, do? We'll create new material. Uh, no, no, not like that. We will actually find some material. Let's say... It was artificially created bird-like creature that's supposed to save the art. Okay. I have used material which is called rainbow anodized metal and I'm not really sure if I have it downloaded or if it's uh, from a basic if it's uh, from original but if it isn't uh, in your substance painter you probably can find it online for free i don't think that would be a problem for you all right i horribly present you bird <laughs> okay th this is good honestly this is really really cool i i like it i really like it <laughs> 
this is weird. I shouldn't have done it, but it's super, super weird, super weird, and I super like it. Well, and the point of this video is to show you how to texture your bird-like creatures. So I believe that I have done that. Yeah, you now know how to texture it. Jesus Christ. Okay, I may wanna even do more videos like this. What do you think, guys? Would it be fun to create? Uh, stuff like that, just out of pure happiness, I believe. <laughs> okay, and now set it to Unreal Engine SSS on 3S, alright? It's not 2S, not 3S. Oh, well, it actually is 3S. It's... Okay, let's just, let's just go. And make sure that you know where are exporting it. Okay, I, I will leave it just like there. No, not actually. I don't have where to export it, so... Make sure that you know where you are exporting it. I'm not really sure if this is a tutorial anymore, but I really, really do have fun. Okay, export. <laughs> well, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, that you now know how to texture your assets, and in next tutorial I will show you how to put it all into Unreal Engine and how to make it work, and have this bizarre creature and bizarre anything work with your game. If you wanna say something to me like you have gone totally mad, this wasn't tutorial, I should kill your mm, whatever, cat. Right, you can send me that on social medias which are in description. Have fun.